What's good, Sneaker World? It's your boy Tom Gravy coming back at y'all again with another. I want to say live slash video, so vlog. I'm like, this might be like my third or my fourth one, or fifth one, I don't know. But um, the Sneaker World has been buzzing, all internet sites have been buzzing about the simple fact that the Air Jordan 4 Thunders that are black and yellow are going to go black, are going go to be releasing. Uh, the official date is November 17th. The last time these shoes were released were in 2006, I think probably somewhere around August, and they released for $500, and they came with a jacket. Now, most people that got these shoes are so-called collectors, or whatever they want to call it, but they're collectors or whatever, and they're pretty pissed off because the shoe is coming back out, and they're saying that the value of their shoe is going to go down. This is how I feel about this situation. Some people might like it, some people don't. I really don't give a fuck. I'm coming from my perspective as a tune. Uh, fuck them, basically, for the simple fact that these people are not what I want to say. I'm because I don't call myself a sneakerhead. I don't call myself a collector. But I'm gonna put it like those people are not like me. I don't. They don't have the love and passion like I do for sneakers. And some of you out there that have the love, love and passion for sneakers, it's just kind of funny to me because you're so worried about money. That's what you're worried about. You're out here. You want to get a shoe and you want to resell a shoe. For a buku amount of money, you have no connection with the shoe. You have like no history for this shoe. You don't even give a damn about this shoe. All you can see is, well, if I go snatch this shoe and try to sell it, then you know, blah, 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 I can get extra money back. And to me, I don't fuck with cats like that. Like this shit ain't cool. Like you're getting mad because Jordan Brand is releasing the shoe again, so other people can have it. I'm just like, that's fucking crazy. And Back in 2006, come on, man, I was like a kid, you know, so I'm 20 years old. I was born in 92, so, you know, I'm not one of those people that seen all the joint matches, uh, not matches, but basketball games. I seen a couple of them, but I didn't see all of them. I didn't get all the shoes. I mean, I got to get retros. I mean, look how old I am now. I didn't start breaking off until these joints around all like 16, 17 when I was in fucking high school, so... Why would I be worried about some shoes at that age? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just kind of stupid. It's kind of selfish and it's kind of petty because all you thinking about is money. You don't have a love for the shoes at all. Me being young, even though that I probably don't have like OGs or nothing like that because, first of all, I'm a college kid. I don't have fucking five and six hundred dollars to just drop on one pair of shoes. I'm not doing this shit. I, I, nigga, I'm in college. I got fucking bills to pay. You know what I'm saying? I know. So it's just me and my moms. I gotta help my moms out. I ain't studying no shit like that, nigga. If I get retros, man, I get fucking retro. That's what the fuck I get in my closet. You can say, you know, so I ain't got shit but fucking retros. You feel me? I'm not no motherfucking pose. I ain't got no more fucking OGs, man. Like I don't, I don't do shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just that, man. I, I didn't get the shoes. In 2006, I'm glad they coming out again. So you know what I'm saying. I'm happy that they coming out because me and other people like me, and other people that actually got a that actually miss them, are actually gonna probably get a chance to get these shoes again. So for all the resellers and all them so called collectors and shit. Man, fuck off, piss off. Don't nobody give a fuck about how y'all feel, man. It's like, I don't wish nothing bad on these people, but at the same time, man, y'all gotta be like, y'all are like the main reason why the sneaker game is how it is right now because y'all ain't about this shit. Y'all just doing it for a profit. Y'all keep the shoes in y'all closet. Like me, I got my shoes, I keep my shoes clean, and I rock my shoes with fly shit. You know what I'm saying? I put fly shit on when everybody step out. They be like, damn, man, those shoes came out two years ago. Yeah, man, I keep my shoes up. I rotate. You know what I'm saying? That's how I get my shit going. That's how I stay fly. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers sitting up here. The shoes came out in 2006 for $500, and they came with a jacket. I see motherfuckers selling them on eBay for $1,500, $1,700, $2,000. I'm like, the fuck? 
Like, really, though? <laughs> really? I was like, man, I'm not finna... The fuck? What would I look like dropping $2,000 on a pair of Air Jordan Thunder Fours? Like, you gotta be fucking shitting me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not doing that shit. That shit ain't me, but... You know, man, like I said, man, I seen a couple of videos. I seen DJ Dales talking about it. I seen another asshole talking about it to my some, uh, He was mad because the value of his shoes were going to go down and Blase skipping the material not going to be as good as it was in 2006. Okay, motherfucker, we get it. The material's not going to be good in, since 2006 or whatever. Don't nobody give a fuck, dude. People still going to get these shoes regardless. And it's just assholes like you. They only see a motherfucking profit and don't have no love for the motherfucking shoe. I ain't got no connection for the motherfucking shoe. And you sit up and you want to sell it and you want to hold it over our motherfucking heads because y'all want to sit up, y'all want to go, y'all want to buy all the sneakers and try to go around, go on eBay, go on Amazon, and it's all this bullshit and sell the shoes for double the Double the money, triple the money, you know what I'm saying? I can understand if somebody dropped the shoe, like I said, and like the shoe came out for 160 and they probably want 220 230 240 But if you up here asking for 350 400 500 $600, man, eat a dick, bitch. I don't fuck with clowns like y'all. Y'all are some motherfucking clowns. Y'all can have this shit, you know what I'm saying? But I just had to speak my piece on it. It was kind of important. To me, I done seen a couple people talk about this situation, and I really hope that I have a chance to get the shoe. Uh, if I don't get it, oh well, I'm not going to trip about it. Uh, I don't plan on getting it early. I'm not going to drop no extra bread for nothing like that. And I don't plan on buying them for no fucking reseller. You know what I'm saying? Well, like I said, this been Tune Griffin. I just had to speak on it, get that off my chest. You know what I'm saying? I wish everybody well. If you feel me, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm saying? I spit real shit all day and I give y'all some nice reviews and whatnot. And I be dropping my music and shit too. So yeah, man, y'all can feel free to hit me down in the inbox. Let me know how y'all feel about this situation because honestly, I'm fed up with this bullshit of these fucking resellers and collectors and now they crying and bitching because the fours are going to come out. The Thunder Force gonna come out, and I really hope the Lightning Force come out. If they do, I hope they do, so y'all can just get pissed off even more, and your fucking stock can go down, and you won't be able to get no fucking money, because we'll all have the shoes. Retro or not, I mean, retro or OG or not. But anyway, Tune Griffin, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Peace.